Good afternoon, everyone. We are ready to start. Auntie Joyce, you can take over. Good afternoon. Madam Chairman. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I have the pleasure to welcome you to this virtual meeting, which I now declare open. I'll call on Edna to lead us in prayer. Edna Ahuno is a fund manager. Edna, please pray with us. Thank you. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you so much for bringing us together once again. We thank you for our shareholders. We thank you for the board management and staff of Data Bank Arc Fund Limited. We especially want to commit this meeting into your hands and ask that you come and sit in the meeting. We invite your presence into it. Help us to have a fruitful meeting with engaging discussions. Mm -hmm. We thank you so much for hearing us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Before we proceed, I would like to draw your attention to the procedures to be used during this meeting. To second the motion, you'll be asked to raise your hand. The moderator will unmute you and you will be required to state your name in full. To ask questions, you can raise your hand or use the chat or Q&A feature. The polling features will be used for voting on each resolution. You can only vote when voting is declared open on that specific resolution. A few minutes will be allowed for each resolution to enable participating shareholders to vote. Voting will be done in real time and the results will be shared for all to see at the end of each vote. Once the voting is declared closed on a specific resolution, you can no longer access or vote on that resolution. The instructions on how to raise your hand to either second a motion or ask questions as well as how to use the polling feature to vote or for or against motion can also be found on page one of the annual report as part of the notice of the general meeting. I will now call on the company secretary or, or her representative to read the notice of the meeting. Thank you, that's great. The notice of the meeting can be found on page one of the annual report. Notice of annual general meeting. Notice is hereby given that the 11th annual general meeting of the shareholders of Data Bank Arc Fund Limited will be held virtually via Zoom on Wednesday, July 14, 2021, at 1 p.m. to transact the following. One, to receive and consider the reports of the directors, auditors, and the audited financial statements for the year ended December 31, 2020. Two, to re-elect directors retiring by rotation. Three, to approve director's fees. Four, to confirm the outgoing auditor's remuneration for the year ended December 31, 2020. Five, to appoint auditors and to authorize the directors to fix the remuneration of the incoming auditors for the year ending December 31, 2021. Special business, to change the name of the fund from Data Bank Arc Fund Limited to Data Bank Arc Fund PLC in compliance with the provisions of the Companies Act 2019, Act 992, dated the seventh day of April, 2021. By order of the board, I can of this limited company secretary. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Thank you very much. Now, the chairman's statement can be found on page two to five of the annual report. With your permission, we will take it as read and move on. The next item on the agenda is to receive the auditor's report. 
I will now ask the representative from the auditors, this is Baker Tilly and, uh, and Andra, to present their report. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm Bright, Edudamwa, representing Bekatili Anda and Anda. Madam Chair, for the purposes of time, we would like to read portions of our report and not the whole report as shown in the annual report. I'll be reading the opinion session, the basis of opinion, and report on other legal and regulatory requirements. The auditor's report is on pages 16 to 19 of the annual report. Independent auditor's report to the members of Data Bank Act Fund Limited. Our opinion. We have audited the financial statements of Data Bank Act Fund Limited, which comprise the statement of financial position as at December 31, 2020, and the statement of comprehensive income, statement of changes in equity, statement of cash flow for the year then ended, and the notes to the financial statements, including a summary of significant accounting policies, are set out on pages 24 to 33. In our opinion, the accompanying financial statement presents fairly, in all material respects, the financial position of the fund as at 31st December 2020 and its performance and its cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with international financial reporting standards and comply with the company's Act 2019 Act 992, the Securities Industries Act 2016 Act 929, and the Unit Trust and Mutual Fund Regulations 2001 LI 1695. Basis of opinion. We conducted our audit in accordance with international standards on auditing. Our responsibility under those standards are further described in the auditor's responsibilities for the audit of financial statement section of our report. We are independent of the fund in accordance with the International Code of Ethics for professional accountants, including international independent standards, the code issued by the International Ethics Standard Board of Accountants. And we have fulfilled our ethical responsibility in accordance with the code. We believe that the audit evidence you have obtained is sufficient and appropriate to provide a basis for our opinion. To so page 19 of the annual report, report on other legal and regulatory requirements. The Companies Act 2019 at 992 requires that in carrying out our audit work, we consider and report on the following matters. We confirm that we have obtained all the information and explanations which the best of our knowledge and belief were necessary for the purposes of the audit. In our opinion, proper books of account have been kept by the fund so far as appear from the examination of those books. The fund's financial statements are in agreement with the books of account. Engagement partner of the audit resulting in the independent auditor's report is Samuel Abiao, signed 28 April 2021. Thank you. Before we consider our first resolution we voted upon, I would like to ask Julian Hammer, Data Bank's Group Chief Marketing Officer, to once again explain the procedure for seconding the motion, asking a question or voting on a resolution. Thank you, Madam Chair. To second the motion, you'll be asked to raise your hand. The moderator will unmute you and you'll be required to state your name in full before seconding the motion. To ask questions, you can raise your hand, whether it's on the mobile phone or a PC, 
or put your question in the Q&A feature. The polling feature will be used for voting on each resolution. You can only vote when the chairman declares the voting open on a specific resolution. The experience will be the same whether you are using your PC or a mobile device. When it is time to vote, the poll will appear on your screen. Select your preferred option for, against, or as well as same to cast your vote. A few minutes will be allowed for each resolution to enable participating shareholders to vote. Voting will be done in real time and the results will be shared for all to see at the end of each vote. Once the voting is declared closed on a specific resolution, you can no longer access or vote on that resolution. The instructions on how to raise your hand to either second a motion or ask a question, as well as how to use a polling feature to vote for or against a motion can be found on page one of the annual report as part of the notice of the annual general meeting. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much, Jillian. Are there any questions before the motion is moved or put to the meeting? Please raise your hand, use the chat or the Q&A function to ask your question. Our questions will be directed by the shareholders, will be asked by the shareholders and answered by the chairman any of the directors whom the chairman may request to ask. Okay. Once again, if you have any questions, please raise your hand or put it in the Q&A. So, Madam Chair, at this point, there are no questions. You can continue. Thank you. I hereby move that the directors and auditors reports as well as the audited financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2020, as submitted to this meeting, B and R hereby received and adopted. Would the shareholder or proxy please raise his or her hand to second this motion? Margaret, please unmute yourself. Give us your full name uh, before you second the motion. Okay, my name is Margaret Oferiwa Barton. I second the motion. Thank you. Madam Chair. I now put the motion to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this motion please signify by voting in the poll on your screen? But I'm sure we'll give it another 10 or 15 seconds All and right. then end the polling. Okay, Madam Chair. There were 18 votes that we received on this motion. All 18 votes were for the motion. Zero against, zero to abstain. I declare that the motion has been duly carried.
The next item on the agenda is the re-election of Joyce Rosalind Ayi and Adelaide Kastner, who are due for retirement at this meeting and have offered themselves for re-election. We see pages 36 and 37 of the annual report of more information of the named directors. Are there any questions before the motion is moved and put to the meeting? Please raise your hand. Use the chat or the Q&A function to ask your question. We'll just wait a few more seconds to see if anyone has any questions. Okay, there are no questions at this time. You may proceed. Thank you, Kirin. Company Secretary's representative will now take over and handle uh, the re-election of Joyce Rosner, who also happens to be the chair. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Would a shareholder or proxy please raise his or her hand to move that Joyce Rosalind Ayi, having offered herself for re-election, be and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company? Again, please raise your hand and we will call on you to second the motion. So we will need someone to raise their hand. Okay, thank you, Martin. Please give us your full name and let us know that you second the motion. All right, so I am Martin Luther Anson Che and I second the motion. Thank you. Thank you, you Martin. Would a shareholder please, or proxy, please raise his hand to second the motion. Martin, you actually moved. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so if I, if I can have a shareholder proxy now second in the motion. Margaret, please go ahead. My name is Margaret Okoriwa Boate and I second the motion. Thank you, Margaret. I now put the motion to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this motion please signify by voting in the poll on your screen? Okay, so we will give it about 10 more seconds and then end the voting for this one. Okay, I'm sharing the results. There were 21 votes received. 20 were for the motion, zero against, and one abstain. Thank you, Jillian. I declare that the motion has been duly carried. But I'm sure first I'll hand over back to you to continue. So the company is... Um, let me just stop sharing the results. One I'm moment, sorry. please.
Is it a tricky Yes. yes. So is the company secretary completing yeah. her assignment? Has she done so? Yes. Okay. Sorry. I hereby move that Adelaide Kastner, having offered herself for re-election, be and is hereby re-elected as a director of a company. Would a shareholder or proxy raise his or her hand to second this motion? Emma, please give us your full name before seconding the motion. My name is Emma Dora Amu, and I second the motion. Thank, Thank you. you. And, and for shareholders, Dr. Kastner is on the screen, so you can see her. You can proceed, Madam Chair. So, I now put the motion to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this motion please signify by voting in the poll on your screen? So we'll give it about 10 or 15 more seconds and mm -hmm. then we will close this vote. Madam Chair, there were, I'll share the results. There were 23 votes that were passed, 19 for the motion, one against, and three chose to abstain. I hereby declare that the motion has been duly carried. Thank you. The next item on the agenda is to approve director's fees. The directors are proposing that a 10% inflation adjusted fee of 935 per month to be paid to non-executive director and 1,067 CDs for the chairman, totaling 46,464 Ghana CDs. And we are asking that this be approved for payment as director's fees for non-executive directors for the year ending 31st December, 2021. Are there any questions before the motion is moved and put to the meeting? Please raise your hand, use the chat or the Q&A function to ask your question. Once again, if anyone has any questions, please raise your hand and we will be happy to take it. Madam Chair, at this point, there are no questions. You may proceed. Right. I hereby move that a 10% inflation adjusted fee of 935 Ghana cities per month, a non executive director, and 1,067 Ghana CDs per month for the chairman, totaling 46,464 Ghana CDs B, and is hereby approved for payment as director's fees to non-executive directors for the year ending 31st December 
2021. Could a shareholder or proxy please raise his or her hand to second this motion? Benjamin, please unmute yourself and give us your name before you second the motion. Thank you very much, Gideon. I'm Benjamin Osei Oususapon, and I'd like to second the motion. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Chair, you may proceed. I now put the motion to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this motion please signify by voting in the poll on your screen. Okay, in about 10 seconds, we will close this vote as well. So Madam Chair, for this one, there were 27 votes received. 25 shareholders voted for the motion one voted against, and one chose to abstain. I hereby declare that the motion has been duly carried. The next item on the agenda is to confirm the outgoing auditors the shares negatively under and under remuneration for the year ended 31st December 2020. Outgoing auditors' remuneration for the year ended at 1st December 2020 amounted to 19,235 Ghana CDs, inclusive of VAT and NHIL. Are there any questions before the motion is moved and put to the meeting? Please raise your hand. Use the chat or the Q&A function to ask your question. Madam Chair, it seems no one has a question. You may proceed. I hereby move that the outgoing auditors, Mrs. Bekatili under and under's remuneration for the year ended 31st December 2020, amounting to 19,235 Ghana seeds, inclusive of VAT and NHIL, be and is hereby confirmed. Would a shareholder or proxy please raise his or her hand to second the motion? Can we please get someone uh, to raise their hand and second the motion? Okay. Emmanuel, can you please give us your full name before you second the motion? Emmanuel Amo Odum, I second the motion. Can I please ask you to repeat your last name just so that the board secretary will capture it accurately? Emmanuel Amwa Udum. And I second the motion. Thank you. Madam Chair, you may continue. I'll put the motion to the meeting. 
Would all those in favor of this motion please signify by voting in the poll on your screen? Okay, I'll just give another 10 or so seconds before we end the polling. Okay, Madam Chair, for this one, 27 shareholders voted, 26 voted for the motion and one chose to abstain. You may proceed. So I now declare that the motion has been carried. Thank you, Madam Chair. The next item on the agenda is to approve the appointment of Mrs. Next Year Deborah and Company as auditors of the fund and to authorize the directors to fix their remuneration for the year ending 31st December 2021. With the coming into force of the New Companies Act, Act 992 of 2019, auditors shall not hold office for a term of, a hold office for a term of not more than six years and as Mr. Baker Tilly under and under have completed the six year maximum term as the funds auditors, the need to replace them has arisen in order for us to comply with section 139 of 11 of Act 992. Any questions before the motion is moved and put to the meeting, please raise your hand Use the chat or Q&A function to ask your question. Madam Chair, while we are waiting on questions, we will ask the partner from Nexia Deborah to just turn on his video yeah. um, so that the meeting can see him. And I'll quickly read a brief profile of okay. him as well. Yes. So Reverend Romeo Xiao Mensa is one of the partners at Nexia, Deborah, and Co. And you can see his face on screen. Got a beard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Nexia, Deborah, and Co. They're a firm of chartered accountants and business consultants registered and incorporated in Ghana under the laws of Ghana in December 1995. The firm is owned and managed by a group of highly skilled and experienced Ghanaian chartered accountants. They serve a diverse client base, including domestic and international companies, SMEs, and NGOs active in Ghana's principal economic sectors. Over the years, the firm has established a unique reputation amongst its peers for delivering quality professional services in the areas of audit and assurance, accounting, taxation, management, and related business advisory services. The firm's operating paradigm is embodied in the phrase, we deliver excellence at an affordable price. Its five partners and 35 associates are all high achievers and are endowed with specialist professional skills and sector-specific expertise. Nexia, Deborah, and Co. are rated Category A by the Institute of Chartered Accountants, which is the sole regulatory body for accounting and auditing services in Ghana. Welcome, Mr. Deborah. 
<laughs> thank you, Madam Chairperson, and thank you very much, members of this group for entering the opening. It's a privilege and it's an honor to begin to serve you for the years ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Madam Chair, there is one question in the Q&A um, regarding the audit firm, and they want to know, is there a clause in the Act that allows an, aud an outgoing audit firm that has served its term to be voted again into office to continue with the service and work? Thank you, Gillian. I'll ask um, Kujo to answer that question. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Um, I, I think this question is from Isaac, you said. Yes. Um, uh, Isaac, the answer is, is no, and this is by law. So um, because of all the issues that globally were happening with audit firms being too familiar with companies that they had been auditing for long, um, the, it, it became a global phenomenon, and Ghana also adopted the best practice that after six years, you will rotate your auditor because then by that time you've developed relationships, friendships, and then familiarity. So it's good to bring fresh pair of eyes to start looking. So we are adhering to the law and we can't go against the law. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Chair, you may So Isaac, are you are you satisfied? I hereby move that Messrs. Nexia, Debra, and Company be appointed auditors of the fund to replace Messrs. Bekatili Anda and Anda, who have completed the six year maximum term as the fund's auditors, and that the directors be and are hereby authorized to fix their remuneration for the year ending 31st December. 2021. Would a shareholder or proxy please raise his or her hand to second the motion? May I please have someone raise their hand to second the motion? Samuel, please give us your full name. Before you second the motion, um, Samuel Osakwedu. Thank you, Samuel. Madam Chair, yeah, I second. I second the motion. Thank you. I now put the motion to the meeting. Would those in favor of this motion please signify by voting in the poll on your screen? Madam Chair, there were 24 votes received for this motion. All 24 were in favor of the motion. I hereby declare that the motion has been duly carried. Thank you. The last item on the agenda, which is being discussed as special business, is to change the name of the fund from Data Bank Act Fund Limited to Data Bank Act Fund PLC in compliance with Section 21B of the Companies Act 2029, Act 992, which provides that the last words of a public company 
limited by shares, B, public limited company, or abbreviation PLC. Are there any questions before the motion is moved and put to the meeting? Please raise your hand. Use the chat or Q&A function to ask your question. Madam Chair, there are no questions at this time. You may proceed. I hereby move that the name of the fund be changed from Data Bank Ag Fund Limited to Data Bank Ag Fund TLC in compliance with Section 21B of the Companies Act 2019, Act 992. Would a shareholder Proxy or proxy, please raise his or her hand to second this motion. Comfort, can you please give us your full name before you second the motion? The comfort, you can unmute yourself. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Comfort. Please go ahead. Yeah, I second the motion. Please give us your first name and last name as well. I'm Comfort Ashabi. I second the motion. Thank you. Madam Chair, you may proceed. And I'll put the motion to the meeting. Would all those in favor of this motion please signify by voting in the poll on your screen? Madam Chair, we received 27 votes, 26 shareholders voted for the motion, and one voted against it. Zero chose the action. I hereby declare that the motion has been duly carried. Thank you, Madam Chair. All too soon, we have come to the end of the proceedings and I would like to call on the Group Chief Marketing Officer, Gillian Hamad, to give the vote of thanks. Thank you. On behalf of the board of our fund, the management and staff of Data Bank, we would just like to thank all shareholders for taking their time to attend today's AGM. We would also like to thank the board of directors, led by our chair, Reverend Joyce Ayu for all the work that they do for the fund. So we wish all shareholders a blessed day and year, and we entreat you to stay safe. Thank, Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for the vote of thanks. I would now call on Deborah Ama Akote to say the closing prayer. Shall we pray? Everlasting Father, we thank you for this afternoon. We thank you for a successful meeting. We thank you for the 11 years of existence of the Data Bank Act Fund. We continue to plead for your grace to continue to guide and protect each and every one of us. We pray, O oh God, that you guide and protect our shareholders, our directors, and management to continue to steer the affairs of this fund that at the end of the day, each and every shareholder will go home smiling. We give you grace and we pray, O oh God, that you continue to preserve us and guide us throughout these challenging times, that a year by this time, O oh God, we'll meet once again and give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Anna, uh, on behalf of the Board of Directors,
And so I'd like to thank you for about... attending this virtual meeting and showing so much interest in your fund, Nature Bank Art Fund PLC. You need to get the name yes. now <laughs> firmly established in our minds, all the communication we sent. Dear shareholders and uh, proxies, I'd like you to join me to say a very big thank you to the chief executive and the staff of Data Bank Arc Fund PLC. The work they do is exemplary. And we would like all of us to say a very, very, very big thank you to them and to pray God's blessings upon their lives as they manage God's resources in the ark. The ark is always safe. God will take us through the turbulences of the sea, of the floods, and everything. We are safe. Our landing will be safe. And that's the reason why I'm asking that we all keep safe. The message we have from our medical doctors is that there is a third wave. It has happened in all countries. Many countries have managed their third wave. Let us manage ours even better. And I'd like to call on ARC funders to lead the way in ensuring that we are perfectly safe in this third wave. God bless us all. I hereby declare the virtual meeting formally closed. Thank you all very much. And God bless us all. Thank you, Madam Chair.